This is a little delta wing that I designed just to play around with. It's actually just made from scrap pink foam. I was going through my uh, scratch building foam and I had a bunch I needed to get rid of and I was about to throw this out and I noticed it just was kind of naturally in the shape of a delta and so I decided to take it and just fashion a little delta wing out of it. Um, it just, it's a pretty, pretty simple design. I just kind of worked with what I had. It's a 30 inch wing span. The root cord is 8 inches, tip cord's 4.5 inches, and the sweep from here to here, this vertical distance, is 10 inches. And with this, I just, it took me like 30 minutes. I just hooked up some Elevons on here, just some little 9 gram servos I've got. I put on a 1300 kV Blue Wonder with an 8x4 prop and a prop saver. Just a little receiver and this ESC that I had. And I decided to take the, uh, the vertical fins, and instead of putting them out here on the wing tips like I normally do, like you normally see, I put them here in the middle. And I did that to help achieve a, uh, an easier center of gravity so I could fly this with a, uh, with a wider range of batteries. Because when you put it out here, this is putting so much weight behind the center of gravity that you have to put a lot of weight up front to counteract that. So I decided to just put these fins up here and uh, see how this flew. This is just this is a new idea. I haven't really tried this out, so we're gonna see how it uh, how it works. I'm gonna go fly it right now. All right, guys. Well, I just made this scrap Delta wing right here, and it flies absolutely terribly. It is a mess in the air. It uh, it was getting tossed around back and forth like this. It kept wanting to flip upside down on me. I crashed it then. I busted the fuselage in half off the motor mount, all the electronics. Uh, so I'm going to try again with this thing. I decided to take the fins up here and uh, cut them down. I cut both of them down a little bit, I'm sure you can tell. And I took the battery and I'm mounting it on the bottom. I'm hoping that this will kind of help add some weight like this and kind of uh, help it stay upright in the air. So I'm going to remand this and see what happens. Alright, here's the launch. And immediately this thing is a hundred times better up in the air. The battery below gives it this really inherent uh, stability, um, just having the weight low like a lot of uh, trainer planes do. This plane doesn't have much wing area, so you have to keep it going in the air. With these changes, I was really surprised at how well this plane flies. You can see here I'm just doing these slow loops around myself and this thing is really easy to keep in this pattern. Just a low pass at the GoPro. Once I got comfortable flying this thing it found it really, really maneuverable and fast, really fun little plane. Wasn't worried about crashing it, which I do here on the landing. Well, that was awesome. I just did the remain with this, with those changes, and this plane is a lot of fun. It's a, just a little easy plane. Uh, I could have a lot of fun with it, just toss it around in the air. It just goes to show you, too, that, you know, if you design a plane and aren't having good luck with it, you know, you can change just a few little things. Like, I just cut down these fins and put the battery here on the bottom, and it completely changed this plane to a whole different flyer in the air, and it's a lot of fun. So, don't give up if you're a design, and have fun with it. Thanks for watching.